I'm going to show the sequence of operation for the popper out. First off, once you plug it in, you have voltage going through the fuse. It's going through the light back to the neutral. So the light bulb comes on. Then you have voltage going up to the coin reject coil. So that's energized. And then you have voltage to the tube heater, which heats the oil up. That's your first first thing that happens. Now this is a uh, normal position for the uh, relay and the motor. As you see, nothing's happening. You have voltage over here, but it's not going anywhere because you have a lot of open switches. So the first thing you do is, is you're going to put a coin in, and you're going to make the coin switch. So for that split second, you make the coin switch, and what happens is the coin switch makes sends voltage to the relay coil through the normally uh, closed cam switch and that energizes this coil for that one second. During that one second what's going to happen is your normally open relay switch is going to close and what that does is it, it feeds the relay and keeps, keeps the coil energized. So the coin switch as you see is open is out of the picture now. So now this switch is feeding its own relay coil. Also it closes this normally open contact, which what that does is it starts the motor up. A couple seconds after that, what happens is is the cam switches switch position. So the normally closed switch opens up, which stops the power for the relay, so that whole relay circuit is dead now. And the uh, normally open switch closes, so now you're feeding through the motor, through the closed umbrella switch, to the closed uh, normally open cam switch was closed and your motor is running. And then after it runs for a while, what's going to happen is the umbrella switch is going to open during the popping cycle. When that opens it kills the motor and then the heater switch closes and that uh, turns the heater on to heat up the oil to heat up the popcorn. And as the popcorn pops it's going to lift the paddle which is going to close the umbrella switch again and once it does that the motor is going to run and the heater switch is going to open and turn off the heater. So as this is running, it's going to continue running until uh, the cam uh, closes this uh, cam switch and opens this cam switch back to your normal position which is going to stop the motor and you're back to the way you were. So basically you're ready for another batch now. The last diagram I want to go over is the uh, high temp safety. Uh, what happens here is if the heater is energized and uh, there's not enough popcorn uh, in the chamber to, uh, to close the umbrella switch to start the motor, uh, what happens is uh, it's going to overheat and it's going to start smoking. and it's, Your whole house is going to be filled with smoke. So what happens is the thermostat will close its, its uh, switch here and that will allow power to go through the motor and uh, start the motor up. Once the motor starts it's going to turn the cam which is going to turn the heater off. So that was what they used for their uh, their high temp safety.